<laughs> Unfortunately, as we don't have a media server, I can't show you this battle right now, but I assure you that it's quite cool. <laughs> I, assure, I assure you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still the spa the space yet. pirates have been defeated. Yay! Now you just have to find where their base is. It's probably somewhere within two or three jumps of your home system. I would imagine. And so, I am going to build my upgraded spaceport. We have two events popping up here. So we'll start with the Void Clouds. The Void Clouds are stewards of the cosmos. Once Rashat astronomers knew what to look for, they found traces of Void Clouds everywhere. Formed at the dawn of creation, they stood watch as stars were lit and young planets formed. Now they drift quasi-conscious agglomerations of ina inanimate matter from the earliest hours of time itself, afloat between dying stars and breaking worlds. They are a constant reminder that we are all, we are but all small parts of something greater. Humbling. So I gain the Grand Design modifier, giving plus five happiness across my empire permanently. That's and awesome. For the mining drone work ethic, the drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but never, nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, mining networks on IAL could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit sig signal pings though extremely infrequent and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there's anyone left to receive these pings, er, maybe a mystery for another time. So uh, I can say noted, which gives me access to the drone optimizations edict, or find out how they're evalu evaluating mining sites. Um, I think I will do the, the edict choice on that one. And I want to get a screenshot of this grand design modifier. Blessed is the cog in the machine. I have finished genome mapping, so my leaders will live longer now. And I'm going to research biolabs, because society research is something that is relevant to my interests. Tokugawa, our continental world, is up and running. I do not yet have the resources to build it a spaceport or support it, but uh, good stuff, man. How, have... close, how close is Sirius to the exterior of the galactic arm that you're on? Um, not close. Okay. It's so not... it's... Oh, Encounter in Balawar. Epsilon aliens. Go ahead and research those Epsilon aliens, por favor. And I am going to research... I'm going to research uh, actually a tile blocker, clear. Dense jungle removal, because that's actually a big problem on Sirius. I'm building a wormhole station in Fulbidon, even though I don't have a colony there yet. I'm going to try to jump across, across dark space and see if I can meet up with the humans before someone else does. And still waiting on that tech that will Another proto-civilization encountered on Balawar 2. Interesting. Wow. I'm surrounded by <laughs> proto Pr Primitive aliens. So the humans in this universe might end up becoming sort of uplifters, almost. They might. Yeah. They, they just might. All right. Um, time to give my economy a boost. I've been spending very aggressively for the early game. Um, oh, yeah. But oh, I think I can upgrade my spaceport. That's awesome, by the way. I've been spending very aggressively, and uh, I have already a level 2 spaceport. I'm going to build me some Corvette assembly yards as soon as this month is out. And now I can very cost-effectively uh, build my fleet. Just waiting to upgrade my spaceport here. Got to wait for another arbitrary 30-day cycle that doesn't necessarily mean anything to anyone besides those that are living on Earth. Oh, I don't have the tech yet. I'm researching the tech. That's the thing. I've got a lot of stuff to spend my money on that I have not finished researching yet. So I'm just queuing up orders on my construction ship at this point. Okay. All of my construction oh, ship orders. We were counted. returned. Um, we, it's because it's we've encountered aliens. The Yapathy Mandate. Our Where are they? Our science vessel was, uh, was banished because it strayed too far south. To the Yapathy Mandate. Um, we've established communications. Let's see what they want. Um, I speak for Executive Bermelon and the wealthy elite of the Yapathy Mandate. Your alien ways are objectionable to us, but perhaps we can still engage in them to trade, assuming your inferior civilization produces anything but value. Uh, we will not be held back, Yapathy. So what are what is their uh, traits? If you go to your contacts... One second. First alien encounter. 
The news yeah. that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire throughout the United Global Alliance. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted as a celebration on Earth. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. This is a momentous occasion. And uh, contacts. Um, they are plutocratic oligarchy, and they are hegemonic imperialists. That is not good. <laughs> it's not as bad as fanatical purifiers, but that means that uh, we're both going to want to have pretty uh, s strong fleets. I'll handle them. If that's our neighbor. <laughs> I'll handle them. Are we good to uh, unpause? Go unpause? Oh, uh, what are their ethics and uh, species traits? Oh, very good. Um, they are collectivist, uh, fanatic xenophobes. Oh, okay. So they hate all aliens. Yep. And, and uh, yeah, that's not good. Primary species? Um, they are mammalian, it would appear. Does it say what their traits are? Um, uh, I'm looking. Where would I find that? Uh, on the Empire screen, it is usually uh, like the bottom middle, kind of? It does not tell me. Okay, I'll, when, when I find them, I'll... Oh, actually, if you hit F3 and then go to the Species tab, it'll tell you what their traits Encounter are. Encounter Sosa. Good lord. Investigate Zeta aliens. Do it. Yeah, I can't see it. Hit F3. I am. And then there's a Species tab. Like, uh, the, down at the yes. bottom, there's Empires and Species. And then if you Yapathy. click... Yapathy. Um, they are agrarian... And prefer Tundra. Okay, so they're going to be competing with me for worlds. Yeah, no, they're not. Well, so yeah. <laughs> not if we have anything to do with it anyway. Um, I'm going to handle them very quickly. They're hostile. They bother me. Uh, the UGA will be at so, war within a year. Build up to your, I would say, uh, have you built up to your fleet cap yet? Get it? No, I'm building my Corvette assembly yards, and that's coming. So the minute you build up to your fleet cap, I would declare them a rival, just for the bonus influence. I wouldn't do it right away because it might it might uh, encourage them to strike first. But yeah, I would definitely uh, once you have your fleet ca uh, capacity filled out, I would declare them a rival. We should be meeting you fairly soon. I think my construction ship is on the way to build a wormhole station. Yes, they are. And I will just start exploring to the north with my science vessel because we oh have been... we got space pirates the white reavers but the faithful shall prevail the event says so i need to start building up my own uh, fleet here so i can take 10 more corvettes it looks like well how big is the space pirate fleet System survey complete. oh there's another colonizable world over there they have a strength of 82. Let me pause real quick. And my current fleet strength is 74. So we have to wait for at least one or two more corvettes. Ancient mining drones. I'm going to... Uh, let's see what these uh, these mining drones are made of. Take them apart. Oh no! Space pirates are blowing up my stuff! No! <laughs> my valiant mining station firing back with its one little gun there. Okay, uh, I think we're good. We have stronger fleet than them. Let's assign an admiral. Fire rate, evasion. Let's go with this guy. Wings of yellow. He's aggressive. He's going to aggressively aggress. <laughs> He's going to aggress. He will aggress. Fiercely. Fiercely Here aggress. we go. The first murder. I will change that name because it's not very Aetherova. But it is, it is cool that my default fleet name is the murder. Murder of Crows. Wormhole jump initiate! Oh, wow, wow, wow. Pause for me. Bunch of stuff just happened. Okay. All right, survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be writing a page of fiction on that. Um, the public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search for strange life forms. A bunch of research and energy credits gained. Excellent. Um, an anomaly 
Shutra 4 seems to exhibit one and only one interesting geological feature, a 27% failure rate, by far my highest so far. Give it a look. Search. All right, we are jumping to engage the space pirates. Very good. Kick some butt. Our station will probably not survive. Yep, they did take it out. But let's see if we can catch them before they uh, jump out of the system. Oh, they initiated a wormhole. All right. I don't think we're going to catch them. Yeah. So we will just we will stand vigil around. Um, actually, I should go back to Aetherava just so I can keep them in, in dock and they won't cost as much upkeep. Um, so oh, failure. Wilhelmina Becker, Becker failed the uh, the anomaly with 27% chance failure rate. Way to go, Wilhelmina. What happened? Was it just a regular failure? Yep. Like she's nothing fine. else nothing else happened? Okay. Yep, she's safe. Oh, poor Wilhelmina. Um poor Okay. Wilhelmina, indeed. So our our uh, our range on our wormholes just barely extends into your arm of the galaxy now. So we will see I don't know what this star is, but uh, we'll see uh, if we can reach it. What is what class uh, is Earth, or what class of star is Sol? Um, Sol is a uh, class G. Okay, that it might be this one. Um, I have new research slot open, and I'm gonna go for energy storage capacity and unlock fusion reactors. Very good. Sounds good to me. I usually go for that before I do um, before I do um, better weapons or shields because you need better reactors. Photo civilization encountered. On wow. Three. So that's why Earth never discovered alien life because we were just so far ahead of everyone else in our galactic neighborhood. It indeed would appear. <laughs> My so, goodness. So what are the what levels are the the proto civs you've encountered? Um, they're all proto, man. Well, you can you can see if you go to empires on the F three tab. Pause for me, real quick. Yeah. Um, empires. It just says me in the apathy mandate. Interesting. Uh, interesting. So they must all be Neolithic. All they're, of them. They're not and, even uh, showing up as an as... embassy is established. The apathy have established. Yeah, you might as well send an embassy, emb uh, embassy back, Systems. for now at least, <laughs> until you're ready to rival them. Yeah, they, they can, yeah. sure. Um, they really don't like us, <laughs> but that's because they know what's about to happen to them. Yeah, well the fact that they're sending you an embassy means they probably know how much stronger you are than them. I'm quite so. strong. Alright, dense jungle removal. Um, that's good. Dangerous wildlife removal I'm going to research next. Now, I know I'm spending a lot of time on tile blockers, but this allows you to actually make use of the colony worlds that, that you establish, um, which is important. All right, so I can get my next level of spaceports, and I'm going to research ion thrusters. Very good for some speed. Speed is very good. Evasion is very good. You can get through to... shields. You can get through... Uh, armor, but you can't get through evasion. It's a I'm going to establish my first frontier outpost on Ecent. It has a lot of uh, it's it's very very economical. Yep. Follow my shot I found around. the pirate station. Run. Science vessel. Run. <laughs> Do you have a big enough fleet to take it out? Um, I don't. I have no idea why my science vessels are currently retreating. That sucks. Are they on uh, evasive stance? They should be. Retreat. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh. They retreated. Yes, Good. they retreated. Yeah, if they if they get into combat, there's a short cooldown before they can retreat. I I'm, I'm glad to have found the... Uh, I'm glad to have found it, though. Oh, and uh, I have pirates attacking. Thank and... you, uh, Miyoshi, for, for coming to watch. Oh, yeah. See you later, Sarah. It's actually one of my old role-playing group buddies. Very good. And she does a webcomic that you should check out called How We Stay Sane at Work about uh, the travails of retail service industry cubicle life that is, is quite funny and is based mostly on real stories. So definitely uh, Very good. give that a look, yeah. Definitely do that. Yep. And have fun at the concert. 
Um, Alright, so now we are hopefully going to actually engage the space pirates before they warp out of the system, and I'm hoping that we don't lose the station. It's at about half health. We're closing in on the pirate fleet. Some actual action on camera. Hey, the station shot one of the pirate ships down. Good for them. Yeah, we are much better, uh, much better than these pirates at space fighting. Space yes! fighting. And our admiral gained a level, I think. Or did he die? Oh no, our, our governor gained a level. Good. By the way, do I have all of my planet? Yeah, I only have one planet, so of course I have all my planets covered. We took some damage, took some hits, uh, almost lost a corvette, but uh, nothing we can't quickly repair. Um, I should probably build a colony ship here. I know I've been like putting that off for RP reasons. Um, gonna build a science lab down here, and then if I'm oh, I got an anomaly too. Um, so an ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage, and entire sections of the facility are missing. So let's research that. I am almost to my fleet cap. And we have a society research slot open. I am going to go with uh, border range. Might as well. Hum, hum cod four. Have fun at Hank Green, Sarah. Oh, nice. New research. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose border range. Or naval capacity, if I want border range. Border range helps serve my purpose here. I'm looking to expand to uh, expand to my west faster than the uh, the apathy. So. So while conducting their survey of Humcod Four, the swoop detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science Officer Plume of or Plume of Yellow is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, research this project, and then we're going to finish surveying the system. So I'm going to queue that up. All right. The apathy are still equivalent of strength to me, despite the fact that I'm almost to my fleet cap. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to overwhelm them early. We'll see. We'll see. when we uh, when we meet up, uh, things will be different. Yeah, so. they'll they'll be in some some serious trouble. Actually, yeah. we already have basic frameworks of RP reasons why our species would cooperate against common threats. So. And that will be a significant um, factor in our early sort of fiction that we write. Yep. Oh, cool. I can already upgrade this to a level 2 bio... or to a uh, bio lab. Yeah, there we go. So, um... I'm going to be focusing almost entirely on, on society and uh, physics and not a lot on engineering. I'm, uh, I'm focusing a lot on engineering, if I can. For the the RP reasons of, of, of uh, the Aetherova, of course. So, for RP re reasons related to the Aetherova, is how I should have phrased that. Um, I think I'm going to build a colony ship. I think it's time. Uh, there's really nothing else I can spend my money on except for a spaceport upgrade. Anomaly. Impressive structures litter Mirak 1 surface, practically begging for some archaeological work. Uh, go ahead. Give it, give it that archaeological work. I'm cool. Oh, what a wonderful choice for a frontier outpost. Wow, that worked out great. Awesome. Special project. Okay, so Science Officer Plume of Yellow has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Hamcod 4. The facility immediately resumed its uninterrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build three advanced raiders of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to the new ships and commissioned them into our fleet. Excellent. So I have three uh, mid-tier raiders here that I can use for my own purposes. That has uh, increased my military power by a not insignificant amount. Very good. I have 
16 Corvettes now, and they're on their way to clear to attacking some of the threats that uh, we've unfortunately encountered in, in this early game. Yeah. Um, wow, Edic, monolithic. Mirak 1 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with the tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to this planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. <laughs> well, I am uh, I'm now researching the wormhole calibration matrix, which will make plus 50% wormhole range, so I'll definitely be able to get to Earth. Uh, and we've also found that the mineral composition of Homcod 1A does not match projections, so we are going to study why that is. And our first colony ship is in production. All right, we're going to attack some uh, some some marauders, some pirates here with our very strong for the early game fleet. I might be able to do that now, too now that I have the uh, those bonus ships from the automated shipyard event. Oh, that that was uh, that was a pummeling. <laughs> that cultist fleet destroyed. Uh, Justice Wilhelmina Becker, our science ship, she's elected president. Ah, oh, we hate to lose you, Wilhelmina. Uh, you didn't miss much, I don't think, uh, Lorem Ipsum, except for that uh, DM discovered a hegemonic imperialist empire that's down here somewhere near the galactic center. Um, I can't see them exactly right now. but uh, And I'm building a colony ship. It is in production. Kai Zhao is the new uh, leader of our of our science vessels. 